Hi friends, today we're gonna talk about the Alocasia fried egg. We're gonna teach you how to care for it, how to make it thrive, and especially what to do if the leaves just start drooping. So this is the Alocasia fried egg or Alocasia mycolitiana. The thing is, I, as I learned, the name fried egg is actually not a consensus in the plant community. It looks like the fried egg actually means the variegated form of this plant. But that plant is so hard to find that people are just calling this plant fried egg and a bunch of people call it fried egg, so that's what I'm doing today. The alocasia fried egg is a little bit more on the fragile side on the spectrum of alocasias. It's more fragile, for instance, than the alocasia poly. I don't know if it's because of the velvety leaves that are more thin and delicate, but another thing with this plant is that it tends to lean a lot towards the light. So if you have this plant far from a window, it will lean, start to like really search for the light. And that all depends on what kind of plant do you have? What kind of look do you want your plant to have? Because some people really like plants that spread around and occupy a lot of space. I like my plants more upright and compact because I don't have a lot of space in my home. And we're going to talk about the whole drooping situation. That is a common issue with alocasias and especially with the alocasia fried egg. One day your plant is all nice and upright like this and the other one is like this or like all the leaves at the same time are like almost on the floor. So we're gonna give you five things to check for if you find yourself in this drooping situation. The first thing, as I mentioned before, is the light. So what kind of light is your plant receiving? If you have a plant that is far away from a window, light might be an issue. So this is the kind of plant and allocations in general, they're a little picky about light. They don't like low light conditions. They like to be really close to a window, especially if it's a southwest or east facing window. The way I found it for it to work for me in my place is that there is a place in the living room by the window in which my alocasia poly is really happy and thriving. So I designed it as the alocasia corner in my house and I put all the alocasias around it and they live all happily because that's the place in my house in which alocasias have the most ideal conditions. So think of your house like a jungle. So in a jungle you have like a bunch of similar plants growing together, bundled up in the same spot. It's not because they chose it and it looks nice, it's because that spot has the most ideal conditions for that type of plant to thrive. So make your little special corner in your home jungle so you can make like ideal conditions for a specific type of plant to thrive. And you, once you find that out, just stick to it and put all the plants that are in the same genus in there. The second reason for your plants to start drooping is water, of course. So alocasias are not that simple when it comes to watering. A lot of people tend to treat it like a, a potos and just wait for the soil to dry up before they water them. I found out that it doesn't really work for my alocasias. What I do is that I wait for like the surface of the soil to be dry or a little like or as little as like one tiny centimeter for the, of the soil to be dry. And when I have a condition like that, I'm just watering my alocasias. And that's really working well for me. The thing is the alocasias because... Good? She's good. Okay. The thing is, if you're not petting her, she's meowing. So you have like to have like a petting machine for this cat. Okay, so water. What happens with the alocasia when it doesn't have water? The leaves of the alocasia requires a lot of energy. 
Compared to the structure of the plant, the stems are really thin compared to the size of the leaves and the base of the plant is really thin. The plant, the leaves will start to get heavy when the plant doesn't have a lot of water to sustain itself upright. You might, if you have a location, you find the plant in this situation where the leaves are all droopy like that and just need water and you water them and they go back upright. And But if you keep this dense long enough, like drooping upright, drooping water upright, it will start to really cause the plant and it might not come back as I learned in the hard way. Try to keep your watering consistent because another thing that happened is when you have the, the tips of the leaf going yellow or brown, that's usually because of inconsistent watering because basically the plant is sucking out the water out of the older leaves to prioritize the leaves at the top or the newer leaves. You might want to check your watering routine if you have a droopy alocasia. The third thing you want to check when you have a droopy alocasia is for spider mites. I'm really lucky to never have had a spider mite infestation in my house. But I know a lot of people that have allocations and basically think of allocations as spider mite magnets. They seem to really like this plant. You need to check for like really, really tiny spiders that might be red or white and they like to make the webs in the between the this corners of the leaf right here. The damage of the leaves seems like there is like a lot of dust on top of the leaf, but you can't really wipe off. It's like a very tiny white specks that don't come off and your leaf is basically damaged forever, it will not recover. So if you have spider mites, you might want to try insecticidal soap or just an, an all or purpose bug killer to treat your infestation, isolate the plants, everything you do when you have a pest infestation. One thing that might help prevent spider mites that I heard is giving it a more humid condition and keeping the soil a little bit more moist because I heard that spider mites love when the, the air is dry and when the soil is dry. So if you keep a really good watering schedule and keep the soil almost moist most of the time, that might help prevent it. And the fourth thing that you want to check for droopy allocations is a new leaf. So as I mentioned in some previous videos, the allocation leaf is a lot of energy for the plant. When is a new leaf is coming, like this one, it's a huge deal for the allocation because it has to spend a lot of energy and sometimes this plant doesn't have the energy to keep the older leaves so it will make a choice and prioritize the new leaves that are probably closer to the light source and shed the bottom leaves like usually it's a trade one to one like new leaves born old leaf dies that's just the cycle of life with allocations. So for instance, in this plant, we have this beautiful, huge new leaf coming. And this leaf over here is struggling. And it was really struggling before, but I start to give it a little bit more water because also when there is a new leaf coming in the allocation, it starts to drink a lot of water, more water than before so if you have a new leaf coming try to really keep a, an eye on the watering that you might be able to save the leaf that is dying because this leaves just came back a little bit from the dead when i start to keep the soil more moist because this new leaf is coming and the fifth thing that you want to check is the time of the year basically because your allocation might be going to dormancy I have a whole video about it, but basically alocasias have the tendency to go dormant in winter and lose a lot of their leaves. So in winter, obviously, a lot of plants stop growing, but the alocasia might actually lose parts of the plant because, again, it's a lot of energy to keep this plant alive. Or even maybe if you like move to a place that is a little bit darker or you, if you're having a really late spring or darker summer, that might all affect the allocation. And there is 
not a lot you can do you can use grow lights but what people recommend is to actually allow the plant to go into dormancy because it will come back stronger in spring so you just need to have a little bit of patience cut back a little bit of the watering and just wait it out and that's all for this video if you like this one you're gonna love this alocasia playlist that we made just for you and that's all thank you for watching and i see you soon bye tgif t what tgif tg thank for watching thank god it's friday